Hello everyone, this is Eli, and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial on building the storage silo. Now the basic concept behind the storage silo is pretty simple. It's a place to store all of your bulk items, like your cobblestone, your dirt, your redstone dust. And it worked by containing a series of double chests hidden at the back, which fill up one by one as items pass through your system. And as they fill up, a redstone lamp at the front will turn on, indicating just how full your system is. Now there are a few designs already out there, but in my view they contain fundamental flaws which this design hopes to fix. Firstly, in some of the other designs, these redstone lamps at the front will turn on when only one or a few items are in the chest. To me that doesn't seem very intuitive, these lamps should only turn on when the chest is completely full. Secondly, in some of the other designs, the lamps at the front will flash on and off as items are passing through the system, which can be really irritating. This design fixes these things by placing the comparator outputs directly from the hoppers attached to those chests and passing them through a redstone line with length 2, which means the lamps will only turn on when the hoppers start backing up. It's a compact design taking up a footprint of only 3x5, it's completely symmetrical, there is space for an item frame without breaking the symmetry, there's no height restriction so you can take these things as tall as you want and they're completely modular so you can place them side by side. As an optional extra, you can add a redstone lamp at the very top, which will flash on and off as items pass through the system, letting you know when the silo is in operation. Okay, let's go ahead and build this thing. Start with the 3x5 area, take a double chest, place this right in the center, then a block of your choice, do two on either side with a transparent block over the center of the chest. Here I'm using upside down stairs, but you can use any transparent block. Next up, take a comparator coming out of this chest straight into a repeater into a solid block with a redstone torch on the side and two redstone dust going into the side of this comparator set to subtract mode. And what this does here is this torch will produce a signal of 14 into the side of the comparator. When the chest is full and only full, it will produce a signal of 15, which is the only time the comparator will produce an output. Moving round to the front, we're going to place a line of redstone lamps right in the center, where each lamp represents one double chest in your system. Here I'm just going to use four, but you can take this as tall as you need to. And then surround the lamps with the block of your choice. Round to the back, take a hopper into the top of this double chest, then two more in the back, one in the top, one in the back. Take a half slab and do three of them alongside these hoppers into a solid block. And then line this with redstone dust. Next up, place a double chest on top of this hopper, with a hopper into the side of it, and then another double chest on top, and just repeat this pattern until you reach the point of your tallest lamp. Next up, we're going to create a line of solid blocks coming out of this hopper going into the front of the silo. And then from that, we can take a comparator output of this hopper. So we place a comparator here and then two redstone dust in front. And what this does is when items are passing through the hopper, we'll just get a signal strength of one. But when the hopper begins to back up, we'll get a strength of two or more, which should power this block and power the lamp. And just repeat this process for each hopper going up the chain. And by the way, these have to be solid blocks, otherwise you cannot stack these silos side by side. Finally, place a temporary block on top of this comparator, and then we're going to do a hopper into this block, take out the block, and we can use this hopper to test our system. So I'm just going to throw a bunch of items in here. We should see that we don't get any lights lighting up, which is exactly what we want, because when we look at the back, we see signal strengths of one coming out of each comparator, which isn't enough to light up these lamps. However, when we take a look at the chest, we can see items are flowing through and beginning to fill up the chest. When this chest completely fills, we should start seeing the lamps light up one by one. As an optional extra, we can install a redstone lamp, which should flash on and off when our system is in operation. So to do this, we place a redstone lamp right in the center and surround this thing with blocks. Give this thing a two by three floor. Place a block in front of the lamp and then a temporary block here hopper into the temporary block and then two more hoppers into the side here. Now take out the temporary block and place a comparator coming out of the central hopper straight into a repeater and then three redstone dust wired into the side of this comparator. Now if I just place a bunch of items in this final hopper you can see that the clock activates however at the moment we get a solid light. 
If I just take out this middle block, we can see this by changing the repeater to two ticks, we get the flashing light. If we change it to three, we get an even slower flashing light, and four ticks gives us an even slower one. Finally, one very important point to make is if you choose to build these silos side by side, as you're building them, you'll notice at the back that you begin to get these circuits crossing between each silo. Don't worry too much, these should fix themselves when you come to build these circuits for the hopper comparators. One thing you will notice is when you come to build the very final circuit, you'll still get this cross connection. This can simply be fixed by placing two blocks coming out of the front of the silos, and that should sever these cross connections. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial on building the storage silo. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer each and every one. If you've enjoyed this video, then please leave it a like. If you want to catch up with my latest series or my other tutorials, then please do subscribe. I've been Eli, thanks for watching.